allow me to bring to your ears the story of the box. The four amigos, Jan, Trevor, Karen and Ina, friends since high school and still friends as they rounded the ripe age of their thirties. The carnival music was delightful. The night lights, colours, cotton candy and more fill their vision. It was the yearly Brighton Town Carnival with all the goodies. There were terrifying rides, the spooky house, sweets and foods that melt in your mouth, and so much more. Yet there was something new this year. A colourful tent stood among the food vendors and carnies. I wouldn't say it was large, just enough to hold a group of four or five. It was a fortune teller's tent. None of the group believed in any of that nonsense. As they passed, a lady in her late forties or so, dressed in a long colourful skirt and black blouse, beckoned for them to come closer. Trevor tried to get the group to press forward and ignore the woman. Still, Ina, being the more forward in personality, stopped and addressed the fortune teller. So, you want to tell us our fortunes? The fortune teller paused. Yes, my dear. If that is what you seek. Ina laughed. I think you seek my money and tell me things I probably already know about myself. She laughed once again once more. The fortune teller simply smiled. I don't want your money. What I need to tell you comes with no cost. Ina felt a con artist tactic coming on but decided to indulge the lady. Okay, lady, let's see what you have to say. Ina walked in as her friends followed her from behind. The fortune teller extended her arm across the entrance. You were not allowed. The words can only be stated in private. Now, Ina was even more amused, but played along anyway. Hey guys, wait for me here. I will be right back. Ina took a seat. The fortune teller extended her hands and placed Ina's into hers. She closed her eyes and began to speak. Ina was fascinated at how accurate the fortune teller was, but still not convinced. Anyone could guess some of those things. It was almost time for the carnival to close, and Ina thanked the fortune teller and began to get up to leave. Then she spotted a large painting hung from a tent wall. It was of a woman with two dogs at her feet. She looked powerful and a little scary. Uh, who is that? Ina asked. Ah, oh, you noticed Hecate. She is the goddess of witches. Ina looked confused. But you were a fortune teller, not a witch. The fortune teller laughed. Oh, you're all witches, my dear. With that, the fortune teller placed a small wooden box on the table. She had Ina look inside. Ina looked up, confused. It's empty. What are you showing me? The fortune teller smiled. There is powerful magic inside. So powerful that it will grant you almost anything you desire. The magic never runs out. Yet there is a condition. You must come back here once a year to visit me. The magic may start to take, then give if you fail to show. To accept my gift, Ina decided to humour the lady and accept it. By the time she finished up within the tent, the carnival was already closed. Karen was upset because she missed the last batch of cotton candy waiting for Ina. Trevor looked at the box in Ina's hands. What is that? Ina laughed. It is just an old magic box. I took it from the lady to humour her. I didn't want to hurt her feelings. Everyone had a good chuckle over the box. The next day, Ina woke up with a stomachache from all the carnival food she ate. She felt like she would vomit. She couldn't go to work feeling like this. I wish I didn't feel so terrible. <laughs> she said out loud to herself. Just then, her stomach stopped aching and she felt fine. She thought nothing about it and just chalked it up to the food finally settling in her stomach. A few months, she started to have car troubles. She took her car into the dealership to have it worked on. She noticed a beautiful convertible Jaguar sitting in the showroom as she waited. Who would trade a car in like this for a Toyota? She'd said to herself. She 
She must have said it a little too loud because a salesperson walked right up behind her. She's a beauty, isn't she? Ina laughed. Yeah, she is. What a dream to have such a vehicle. I wish I could afford it. I would take it off your hands today, she laughed again. The salesperson smiled. She is not for everyone, and walked away. The repair took much longer than estimated, and she walked over to see how things were coming along. The representative looked up with a long face, and before Ina could get a word out, he started to apologise. Ma'am, we ran into a problem, and we were working on a solution with our sales department. We had your vehicle parked under a raised lift. For some unknown reason, the lift gave way, and well, unfortunately, ma'am, that lift weighed well over 10 tonnes and crushed your vehicle. Our sales manager would like to offer you any car you see on the car lot. Ina was floored. At first, she did not know what to say, but then found her words. Y you mean... I can have any car on your lot. Yes, ma'am, that is correct. Any car on the lot? A huge smile spread across Ina's face. I will take the convertible Jaguar in your showroom. And with that, Ina became a believer in the magic box. For the rest of a year, she used the box sparingly for things she knew she could not obtain on her own. She even used some of the magic to help with health issues. October was rolling along, and the yearly carnival was approaching. Remembering what the fortune teller told her, she was planning to make a visit. Ina arrived at the carnival the first day without her friends. She purchased her ticket, made a beeline to where she last found the tent. Nothing was there. All the other food vendors and carnies were present, but not the tent. She became worried and found the carnival's main office and inquired about the fortune teller. The office manager had no idea what she was talking about. Ma'am, we never had a fortune teller at our carnival. They bring additional legal liabilities that our insurance does not cover. Ina became more persistent. That can't be right. I was here last year and was inside the fortune teller's tent. She told me my fortune. The manager frowned. Ma'am, I don't know what to tell you. We have never allowed fortune tellers onto our property, no way, no how. Ina left the office in a huff and decided to do her own searching around, yet no carny or food vendor remembers a tent or fortune teller ever being at the carnival. Ina left the carnival in a nervous haste. If she did not find the fortune teller soon, the box would begin to take from her. Perhaps she would continue to lose more and more until the magic consumed everything and anyone in her life. It started just as quickly as it began. The following week, Ina was in a car accident that totaled the Jaguar. Her house caught on fire. Trevor broke his leg. Her cat died. All this happened in just one week. After six months of more tragedy and loss, Ina was distraught. On her way to the corner market, she caught a small tent out of the corner of her eye. Could it be? Yes, it was the old fortune teller's tent. In haste, Ina walked across the street to an open dirt field where the tent was neatly propped up and awaiting patrons. She found the fortune teller sitting comfortably at her round wooden table inside. Hello, my dear, please come in. Ina entered the tent, sat down, and immediately began to cry. I came to the carnival just as you asked. I was there. Where were you? Everything that the box gifted me has been taken away. Everything! Everything! Where were you? The fortune teller looked directly into Ina's eyes. It was not time for us to meet. Ina was still in tears. I, I don't understand. The fortune teller looked at her with a sly smile. They never understand, she said in a dry tone. Your type only laughs and makes a joke of our magic and profession. It is respect that you lack. Remember the painting you saw on my wall? You failed to question how she protects witches. Let me tell you. She shows you what you could have, could want, could need, and then takes it away to punish you for doubting the magic. You've learned a lesson that will stay with you for the rest of your life. You learn respect for things you do not understand. With that, Ina was asked to leave. She walked across the street and looked back to where she saw no tent, 
only an empty space where the tent had been. After purchasing her groceries, she walked back to her home. It looked different. The damage from the fire was gone. In her garage was her old car, and the box was missing. It was then that she heard a mobile phone ring. It was Karen. Hey, are you set for tonight? I know sounded confused. Tonight? Karen replied back. Yeah, remember, we're all going to the carnival. <laughs> Did you forget? Ina sounded even more confused. What carnival? It is the month of May. The carnival only comes in October. Karen paused for a moment. Ina, are you okay? It is October. The carnival starts tonight. If you're not feeling well, I can tell the gang you'll be skipping this year. It was then that Ina glanced at her wall calendar. The date displayed was October. But it was over a year ago. She glanced at her phone and it matched what was on the calendar wall. But how could that be right? The date is May 12, 2021, not October 21st, 2019. Karen, can you humour me for a moment? What is the year? Is it 2021? Karen's voice turned to concern. I know. Are you sure nothing is wrong? It is October 21st, 2019. Ina started to laugh. <laughs> yes, everything is just fine. I'll meet you guys there. After she got off the phone, she continued to laugh into hysterics. Of course, it all made sense, she thought to herself. The old car in the garage. No fire damaged her home, and I bet Trevor never broke his leg. It all never happened. Ina was elated. The fortune teller showed her a glimpse of her life based on the consequences of her actions. The year of using the magic box never happened. It was only a glimpse to teach a harsh lesson. A punishment from Hecate. That night, the fortune teller's tent was there at the carnival. Ina saw it and so did her friends. But she knew better. As her friends laughed at the fortune teller, Ina approached with a renewed sense of respect and appreciation. This time, as the fortune teller beckoned, Ina entered the tent without judgement, with eyes wide open humility and acceptance and so my witches if you can believe without seeing show respect without judgment then perhaps hecate may bless you with her dark energy <laughs>